the University of Maryland, students are expanding their minds and their palates. And at Vigilante Coffee, they're sampling flavors from around the world, right here in College Park. These smooth coffee crafters are half mile from campus. Not a bad way to get to work. But Chris Vigilante's journey didn't begin here in College Park. His love of coffee developed over 4,800 miles away. I got my start in the island of Oahu at a small cafe learning to roast. And before long, I was working with farmers in the big island of Hawaii. We would drive to the north shore of Oahu and purchase beans directly from the farmer. So that gave me a really deep appreciation for coffee from the seed all the way to the cup. Chris Vigilante took what he learned in Hawaii back to the East Coast, where he began roasting beans in his basement and selling them locally. With the phone call by total chance with the founder of Starbucks, Gordon Balker, he told me, he said, you need to start going to South America, you need to go to Africa, you need to go start buying coffees. That's what I did. I arrived to Bogota, and within 24 hours, we were on a coffee farm. I told them, I said, hey, I'm a small fish today, but one day I'm not going to be, and uh, would you be willing to work with me? And they were. Ten years have passed since his first voyage to Colombia. And since then, Chris and his wife Ashley have traversed the globe in search of the best beans. There are some really phenomenal farms out there doing great work. And so we wanted to be able to go there and experience what they're doing and take content and bring it back to our customers. We source from about 10 different countries, to Indonesia, to Kenya, to Ethiopia, to Colombia, Peru, and Ecuador. For us, it was if we can take this product that has all this labor and love going into it and then put all of our passion into making sure that this product is roasted to perfection, that was what it was all about. Vigilante Coffee's head roaster, Franklin Ventura, experiments with different beans to create their signature blends. As a native from El Salvador, coffee is very important to us. I started drinking coffee when I was six, seven years old. I remember my grandmother uh, roasting some coffee beans. She would do it on, on a piece of steel by hand. The team at Vigilante is relentless in their pursuit of perfection. One flavor in particular, the Tin Lizzie, took a year of crafting and honing to capture the right taste. We're having Tin Lizzie, which is a blend comprised of three beans, Brazil, Ethiopian, and Sumatra. Each bean adds its distinct character to the blend. The Ethiopian adds a really sweet note, the Brazilian adds a nice milk chocolate tone, and the Sumatra adds a heavy body and an earthiness. It's a work of art. Indeed. Why are we supposed to drink this fast? Well, that golden part, the crema, that begins to go away after about a minute or two. And that's really the essence of the espresso, the viscosity, the mouthfeel, and a lot of the sweetness is held right in there. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Chris isn't the only one who knows how to attack a great cup of coffee. Hey, how are you? University of Maryland women's volleyball coach Adam Hughes has his favorite too. I got a whistle, I got my coffee, we're good. We officially can start practice. So you love your coffee? I would say I'm here five, six days a week. What's your order here at Vigilante Coffee? Gotta go with the Americano. A couple shots of espresso with just some hot water, obviously gonna be black. What makes Big Ten women's volleyball so unique? The depth of the conference is unparalleled. You get to play in some of the biggest environments. You're gonna play in front of sold out crowds and you know to be on that big stage is why we do this. Yes, legs. T, good ball. What would you say makes for a successful coach? Uh, well, he's probably gotta be really good with understanding coffee. We work a lot of hours, so that's gonna be an important <laughs> piece of this puzzle. So if volleyball doesn't work out for you, I mean, you could just come work here. I'm ready to start. If they can hire me tomorrow, <laughs> I, I would love to give this thing a shot. 
more to come. What is that? What is that right over there? What? Oh. Man, I fell for it. Mm-hmm. I totally did.